Hi, my name is Todd Clayton. In this demonstration, I'm going to show how you can leverage technologies from Radiant Logic and Ping Identity to create a centralized service for managing your cloud applications. I'm going to use Salesforce as the cloud service for this demo, and the use case I'm going to show is how you can automate the provisioning and deprovisioning of users in and out of Salesforce based upon membership in a group in your local enterprise directory. I'm also going to show how you can set up a centralized view in your portal, which includes information coming not only from your internal repository, but also from Salesforce directly, how to include the list of accounts for each of your sales reps into that view, and also to achieve single sign-on from that portal into uh, Salesforce directly. So the components I'm going to show as part of the demo are Radiant One, which is Radiant Logic's virtual directory server. I'm going to use that as the identity hub, so it's really a common access point to information both from within your firewall and also coming from Salesforce directly. I'm also going to use Ping Federate. Ping Federate is Ping Identity's product which is going to allow us to do single sign-on from the portal into Salesforce and also to handle the provisioning of the users in and out of Salesforce. Uh, we've put together a company portal to show you what this view would look like. We're also using Salesforce as our cloud service and an enterprise directory. In this case I'm using an LDAP directory but this could just as easily have been a database, Active Directory, or even an application, which the virtual directory can make available to Ping Federate and also to our portal for consumption of attribute information. To show the provisioning of users in and out of Salesforce and also the single sign-on, the first thing I'm going to do is add the user to our enterprise directory. This simulates a new user joining your firm. Then, to provision them into Salesforce, I'm going to add them to a Salesforce group. This is how Ping Federate determines that that user should actually be moved over and provisioned into Salesforce. This could also have been based upon an LDAP filter. After that's done, the virtual directory creates a view of that user within the enterprise directory that Ping Federate consumes and uses that information as the details to provision into Salesforce. Once that user has actually been provisioned, they can go ahead and authenticate to the company portal and click a link to get into Salesforce without having to type their credentials. Within the Virtual Directory server, we're pulling together information coming from three separate sources. The first is our LDAP directory, our enterprise directory. From that directory, we're getting information like the user's name, their email address, and their telephone number. We then join that information to include details coming from Salesforce about that user, which includes the region that they manage and then we do an additional join to show the various accounts associated with that user. Your entry within the virtual directory then shows data coming from all three sources without the applications having to know how to query them directly. In essence, what we've created now is a centralized identity hub for accessing information about your users, not only from your internal sources, such as your directories, databases, and web services, but also coming from sources out in the cloud, such as Salesforce, Twitter, LinkedIn, and other cloud services, all without having to make changes to your applications. This integration layer not only allows you to read this information, but also to update it all through this centralized hub. So now let's switch over to our demonstration. What you see now is the Virtual Directory Server Administration Console. We've got our enterprise directory, our data coming from Salesforce, and then the view into that information, which includes data coming from both our enterprise directory and from Salesforce itself. Let's go ahead and add a user. The first thing I'm going to do is come over to our enterprise directory and add a new user to the system. We'll just make up webinar user as the user for this demonstration. We'll give them a password, set their email address, and give them a phone number. This has added the user now into the directory. To grant them access to Salesforce, what I need to do then is come to my group and actually add that user to the group itself. This can be done simply by searching for the user and putting them into the group. I've now put everything in place that Ping Federate is going to use to actually 
take this data and move this user over into Salesforce based upon the rules we defined. Let's just switch back over and take a quick look at how the joins we're doing in the view are going to work. So if I take a look at the view I've created to merge information coming from both the Enterprise Directory and from Salesforce, I've created a couple of joins. The first thing I'm going to do in this join is match them to the Salesforce user based upon their email address. Once I do that, I'm going to pull back their location or which region they manage and also their Salesforce ID. Next, I'm going to use that Salesforce ID to join them to the actual account information within Salesforce. And this is how I'm going to pull together my centralized view. So let's switch over to my portal. We've created this portal to give a quick demonstration for how this all works. So if I sign in as the user I just created, the first thing you're going to see is the list of all my sales representatives in the company. You notice how the new user we just created has been added. But, unfortunately, we don't have their sales region or account information yet listed in our portal. We want to keep all the data here so that other users within my company can easily figure out which sales rep they should go to when there's a potential new lead. So the first thing that this sales rep's going to do is click this link over to Salesforce. It's important to note that what's happening here is actually the user is getting single sign-on into Salesforce. As you notice, I didn't have to type any ID and password to access this. So the next, that sales rep is going to go ahead and set their sales region. For this demonstration, I'm using the user's division as the attribute which contains their sales region. You could easily use a different attribute. This is just the one we've chosen for this demo. So let me set it to Northwest. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and save this entry. That data gets updated in Salesforce. Now simply by switching back to my centralized portal and refreshing the screen, the user's location, our webinar user that we created, is now populated in the portal. This information came directly from Salesforce. I didn't have to write any code within my application. And the virtual directory instantly updated to include this information. Similarly, if I create an account, why don't I call it Webinar Company, and save it, all I have to do is come back to our portal, refresh the screen, and now our portal shows the latest information, including the accounts, for our new sales rep. As you start to think about expanding the scenario we showed here in the demonstration, you could easily see how now you can incorporate information coming from LinkedIn, perhaps allow users to update their attributes directly through the portal, and all of this can be done without making any changes into your application directly. The virtual directory handles the centralization of attributes coming from these sources, both from a read and update perspective, and with Pink Federate, you can automatically provision users in and out of these cloud services and also achieve single sign-on to reduce the password management overhead. And that's really all there is to it. We've created a centralized service for managing the provisioning and deprovisioning of users in and out of these cloud-based applications. We've got single sign-on going between our portal and these cloud services. And we've created this centralized point of access, which allows me to not only read information about my users and their associated data from my internal sources, but also from my cloud services directly. The virtual directory also allows me to cache and dynamically update the data coming from these various cloud services. This ensures that my applications all maintain a high level of performance. Thanks very much.